Hello and welcome to our short NMEA 2000 video tutorial. We hope that it will help you to find out more about how NMEA 2000 works and make your future work on board easier. The NMEA 2000 system was developed by the National Electronics Marine Association and allows a simple data exchange between various devices. With it, for example, it is possible to easily exchange data between a Raymarine, Garmin or Simrad device. The only requirement is an NMEA 2000 interface connection to the corresponding device so that you can quickly and easily transfer information such as GPS position, AIS data, depth, speed or even wind data. Image data, however, cannot be transferred, for example radar images, fish finder views or chart content. This type of data is manufacturer specific and cannot be transferred via the NMEA 2000 interface it can usually only be done via the manufacturer's own network. We will now show you how to create a basic NMEA 2000 network. Our network consists of an NMEA 2000 starter kit, an AMAR DST800 NMEA 2000 transducer to give us depth, speed and temperature data, as well as a device for displaying data received, in this case a chart plotter. In our SVB NMEA 2000 starter kit are all the components needed to connect two NMEA 2000 products. In detail it consists of three NMEA 2000 micro CT pieces, one NMEA 2000 power cable including a 3 amp fuse, two terminating resistors, used to close the network and two network cables, one with a length of 0.5 meters and the other 5 meters. So let's begin with the construction of the network. We will first of all start with the backbone. The backbone is the main feed line over which all data is transmitted to the corresponding devices. The backbone usually consists of T-pieces, that are either directly connected to each other or of a network cable that can be used to connect two T-pieces together with one T-piece attached to one end of the cable and another attached to the other end. Another way to extend the network is by using a so-called four-way splitter. This four-way splitter can be integrated into a network and with it up to three devices can be connected together and closed off or connected to an existing network. The total length of a backbone may reach up to 200 meters depending on the type of cable. Now we come to the power supply for the network. The network receives power by integrating the included micro C power cable into the network. In order to achieve a balanced power supply, this should be placed as close to the middle of the network as possible. In our case, it would be this T piece here. It is also important to note that the NMEA 2000 system may only be run on a 12 volt basis. In the next step, we will connect the Airmar DST800 transducer to our backbone. We simply connect the transducer's micro C cable to a free T piece on our backbone. Small devices such as the DST800 transducer or small instrument displays do not require their own power supply as they receive enough power from the 12 volt supply to the NMEA 2000 backbone. The next step is to connect our chart plotter to our NMEA 2000 backbone. If the cable length of the backbone is not long enough to reach the chart plotter, its length can be increased with an extension cable of up to 10 meters long. The chart plotter is connected to a free T piece in our network with a maximum 6 meter long network cable. Simply connect one end of the network cable to the chart plotter
and the other end to a free tea piece in our backbone. The final step is to terminate or close off the two ends of our network. To do this, we use the two terminating resistors found in our kit and screw these to the two ends of the network. Some NMEA 2000 devices, for example wind sensors, could have their own integrated terminating resistor. Depending on the network size, make sure that there are only two terminating resistors in the network. After we have correctly assembled the backbone, all terminating resistors are fitted and end devices are connected, we can then connect the network to a 12 volt power supply. To do so, connect the 12 volt negative with the black cable for the power supply of the backbone and the 12 volt positive with the red cable of the power supply for the backbone. As soon as power is supplied, the sensors start working and transmitting data to the network. As we can see straight away on our chart plotter, we receive information such as speed through water, which will change as soon as we move the paddles on our DST800 paddle wheel. And we receive information about water temperature. With some chart plotters, it is advisable to start a so-called new device search after the network is activated. This search is carried out in order to find new devices that are attached to the network. In most cases, a device search can be done, depending on the manufacturer, by activating it through the system menu under Network. Should any further devices be purchased, these can be quickly and easily integrated into the existing NMEA 2000 network. For example, you can easily integrate an NMEA 2000 wind sensor in a few simple steps. Before we start integrating the new sensor, make sure you remove the power supply to the NMEA 2000 network by disconnecting the system from its 12 volt power supply. We can now begin to integrate the sensor into the network. Disconnect the terminating resistor from the T-piece. And simply expand the network using another T-piece. Very quick and simple, thanks to the plug and play system. We now have a further free port in our backbone to which we can attach the wind sensors cable. Because we now have two terminating resistors in our system, as the device that we're using here is already equipped with a terminating resistor, and the other terminating resistor is here, the resistor that we have just removed is no longer necessary. To make sure that the system is waterproofed, we recommend placing a so-called dummy cap over the open T-piece. After everything has been installed, we can reconnect the 12 volt power supply to the system. As soon as power is connected, data is transmitted from the sensors and can be viewed on our display. As we can clearly see here, wind data is already showing. All the components shown here can be found in the video description and are of course available here in our online shop. We hope that this video has given you a closer insight into the enemy A2000 system and wish you lots of fun with your onboard network system and of course, happy sailing. <laughs>